Hi, I'm musician First Class Matthew Michener with the United States Navy Band, and today I'm going to help get you started on playing drums and mallet percussion. I have in front of me the two instruments on which I began learning percussion, a snare drum practice pad and a glockenspiel. Before we start playing, I want to talk about setting up the instruments. Since we are standing up to play these instruments, we want to make sure they are at the proper playing height. So stand straight up tall with your feet shoulder width apart and your hands to your side. Bring your arms up just by bending at the elbow and have your hands out in front of you like this with the palms facing down. You want to get your instruments around where this level is just below where your fingertips are. Now sometimes we can't win them all because not all mallet instrument stands can be set to your ideal height. If this is the case for you, get it as close as you can to this height, but if it's a little high or a little low, don't worry about it. Now I'm going to teach you how to properly hold the stick, and I'm going to do this one hand at a time. Lift your dominant hand up so it is out in front of you with the palm facing down. Grab the stick with your thumb, index, and middle finger, just like so. This becomes your fulcrum. Once you have this, wrap your other fingers around so that all your fingers are touching the stick. Leave about an inch to an inch and a half at the back end of the stick. Do the exact same thing with the other hand. And make sure your hands match when you put them down. Percussionists appropriately call this grip matched grip because the two hands match each other. Now that you know how to hold the sticks, let's talk about how to properly move your hands. The motion that I use to play drums is very similar to how I would balance a ball on the ground, kind of like this. Notice that my arm is relaxed but steady. I'm bending just the wrist and I'm making sure it's moving straight up and down. Now we're actually going to play this time. Pick up the sticks and play some notes in the center of the drum, similar to how you would throw the ball on the ground. Maintain a relaxed but steady arm Make sure the wrist is moving straight up and down. Make sure you avoid certain bad habits. The first one being stiff arming, which looks like this. The second one being losing your fulcrum, which looks like this. And the last one being slicing, which looks like this. Now that you know how to hold the stick and play the drum, I'm going to teach you one of the most basic snare drum movements, the paradiddle. And it is simply two groups of four notes that go like this. Right, left, right, right. Left, right, left. Do this rudiment slowly at first, making sure everything that you've learned up until now is correct. Your arm is relaxed but steady, you're maintaining a good fulcrum, you're bending from the ribs, and you're making sure that the stick moves straight up and down. Once you're comfortable doing this rudiment slowly, gradually increase the speed. Now that we've learned the basics of snare drum, we're going to move on to the glockenspiel. But we're going to keep in mind everything that we've learned up until now. The difference being this time, instead of keeping our arms steady and in one place, we're actually going to be shifting them across the instrument so that we can move the mallets above the notes that we want to play. I'm going to teach you the first scale that I learned on glockenspiel, the chromatic scale. For mallet percussion, it is simply playing every note in order from the bottom of the instrument to the top and back down. We're going to start with our left hand and it goes like this. I 
hope you noticed two things as I was playing the chromatic scale. The first one being that I was playing in the center of every bar. And the other thing that I was doing is I was alternating my hands the entire way. Left, right, left, right, and so on. As you're practicing this, make sure you avoid playing two consecutive notes with the same hand. So make sure you're not doing this. Or something like this. Keep in mind that you want to do this scale slowly at first and gradually increase the speed. Slow practice is the key to developing proper habits early on. Remember, five minutes of slow, focused practice is more effective than 30 minutes of fast, unfocused practice. Now that you know matched grip, how to properly move your hands, the paradiddle, and the chromatic scale, you know the fundamentals of drums and mallet percussion. I hope this helps you have a better understanding on how to get started on drums and mallet percussion. Thanks for watching.